Ever since the James Webb Telescope was released out there, it has yet to start its main mission. But now, with the help of the Panoramic Survey Telescope and Rapid Response System, PANSTARS-1, which is found in Hawaii, an interesting object was found by an astronomer at the University of Hawaii at Manoa. Robert Warrick made this discovery on October 19, 2017. From the day it was discovered, it has remained a mystery. It had a peculiar orbit, an eccentric speed, and some really quirky features. It later came to be named Aumuamua. Since then, it has become the first ever known interstellar visitor to our solar system. However, scientists only had the opportunity to see this amazing object for 11 days, before it became too small and dark. To date, the nature of Aumuamua remains unknown. This is because not much evidence was acquired from the short observation window that they had. But what is it about this object? Hello, and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will take a look at the first ever interstellar visitor to our solar system, the Aumuamua. But before we continue, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos. And with that said, let us have a look at Aumuamua. Aumuamua is a Hawaiian term meaning scout. This object can be thought to represent a distant and unknown star system. It is believed to have been traveling through the Milky Way's chilly, lonely intergalactic depths for hundreds, maybe even billions of years before it finally came across the Sun. And the thing is, it is not even as large as you would think. Its most obvious side can be approximated to be about 10 to 100 meters, which is about 33 to 330 feet in length. It could even fit on a football field without any struggle. According to the astronomers who got the chance to see it, the reflected sunlight from our visitor was fading as it fled over time. This might be an indication that the body was flipping end over end every few hours. Astronomers also found out that Aumuamua was mostly longer than wide, with a ratio of about 5 to 10. It was either shaped like a cigar or a pancake, depending on the light variation. It was already heading out of the solar system when it was discovered. However, it was not connected to the Sun's gravitational pull. This is because of its high speed and steep angle as compared to the rest of the solar system. Astronomers who were observing it used a combination of ground-based and space-based observatories to track the object. This only happened for 11 days. Now, there is no way that we can ever find out more about this mystery visitor. It is now too far and too dim to even observe with our most powerful tools. No rocket could even catch up with it, even if it tried. When Aumuamua was first discovered, it was known as Comet C-2017-U1 Panstars. This was mainly because of its significant hyperbolic course. Many photos were collected later on the day of discovery, thanks to the huge telescope to verify whether it was really a comet. However, the object had no signs of a coma whatsoever. So, the comet was changed to A-2017-U1. This was the first ever comet to be reclassified as an asteroid. It was designated as 1I-2017-U1 after the astronomers found out that it was an interstellar object. This was the first of a new group of things. Due to the lack of a coma, the quantity of surface ice is limited to a few square meters. If there are any volatiles, they are probably hidden beneath the crust at least a half meter, 1.6 feet thick. This suggests that when the object was developing, it was either within the frost line of its parent star system or in the area of that stellar system long enough to allow all the near-surface ice to supplement, as Damocloids may have been. It is impossible to say which scenario is more likely to have been when it was formed, mainly because of the chaotic nature of its tiny body dynamics. However, if it was formed in a comparable way to solar objects, then its spectrum may suggest the latter. Any meteoric activity that could be expected from Aumuamua should have been expected to come from the constellation Sextans on October 18, 2017. But on the contrary, nothing was recorded by the Canadian Meteor Orbit Radar. On June 27, 2018, astronomers announced that Aumuamua was a modestly active comet. This was changed from being an asteroid, as it was previously believed to be. Astronomers measured a non-gravitational increase in Aumuamua's acceleration, which was only compatible with comet outgassing. However, in October 2018, investigations that suggested that the object was neither a comet nor an asteroid were published. An astronomer named Zdenek Sekanina hypothesized that the object could be a fragment of a shattered interstellar comet or exocomet. So far, Aumuamua is the weirdest object ever discovered in our solar system. Of all the asteroids and comets that have been discovered in our solar system, none has a form like this one. 
However, the list of objects that are 100 meters or larger is not yet complete. Aumuamua has a dusty red color comparable to that of other deep solar system objects. However, it did not really behave the same as a comet, which is the most common tiny object at those distances from the Sun. As it was approaching the Sun, it did so at a close speed to the local state of rest. This is the average velocity of nearby stars. However, those stars measure sustainably higher radial velocities. The reason behind Aumuamua's having a figure close to the average still remains a mystery. Astronomers were even more perplexed and intrigued by what Aumuamua revealed as it left the solar system. The object seems to be speeding up each day as it moves away from the Sun. Because of material outgassing, this is not the strangest thing about comets, especially those with unique acceleration profiles. However, Aumuamua could not be compared to any other observations. Thanks to spectra from the Hale telescope, a red tint that resembled comet nuclei or trojans was discovered on October 25th. The object seemed featureless and tinted red like Kuiper Belt objects. This was according to the higher signal-to-noise spectra that were collected that day by the 4.2-meter or 14-foot William Herschel telescope. The following night, spectra captured with the 8.2-meter, 27-foot huge telescope showed that the activity was extending into near-infrared wavelengths. These spectra were compared to those of the D-type asteroids. Rather than spinning around its axis, Aumuamua could be said to be tumbling. This would explain the different rotation periods that were recorded. Aumuamua's tumbling could be said to come from a collision in its system of origin. It is still slipping, especially since the time frame for dissipation of this motion is quite lengthy, at least a billion years. Aumuamua could be anything from an object shaped like an elongated cigar, which is equivalent to or even greater than the most elongated solar system entities, to a flat pancake-like object or an oblate spheroid. This is based on the significant changes in the light curves. Even with the most powerful telescopes, Aumuamua still seems like nothing more than a point source of light. This has made it hard to detect its size and shape directly. The albedo and triaxial ellipsoid shapes remain unknown. If it is cigar-shaped, the longest to shortest axis ratio could be 5 to 1 or even more. If we assume that the albedo is 10%, which is slightly higher than a D-type asteroid, and a ratio of 6 to 1, we could assume Aumuamua's dimensions to be about 100 meters to 1,000 meters by 25 meters to 167 meters by 35 meters to 167 meters. It would have an average diameter of about 110 meters or 360 feet. According to astronomer Dave Jewett, the item is not that impressive apart from its very elongated shape. He claims that it could be a contact binary, even though it is highly unlikely because of its quick spin. One of the theories behind its form is that it was ejected from its original system because of a cataclysmic event, such as a collision or a stellar explosion. According to JPL News, Aumuamua could be 10 times longer than it is wide, making it very elongated. An object known as 2I Borisov is the only other interstellar visitor to be discovered over the years. It appeared and behaved in the same way as a comet. Aumuamua is the first of its kind, and there have never been any others. So this begs the question, what exactly is Aumuamua? There have been many theories about this, with others saying that it is an alien vessel, while others claim it is a nitrogen iceberg shattered from a Pluto-like object long ago. Others have said that it is a block of solid hydrogen that was produced due to the solar system's formation on the margins of a vast molecular cloud. Other speculations also claim Aumuamua is, in fact, an alien comet ejected from its home solar system. Even with all these speculations, we will never really know what our visitor really is. What do you think it is? Feel free to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Also, while you're here, make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.